Hello YouTube, this is Voltron00X and I am very excited today. Just got in my Chromebook Pixel. This is the 999.99 edition, the Core i5, 8GB of RAM. They were sold out of the Core i7. Um, not sure that I would have spent the extra $300 anyway to be honest. 16 gigabytes of memory is probably pretty future-proof, but I don't know how future-proof you need to be with a, with a device this powerful. You're probably three years uh, locked in and good with, uh, with the standard edition. So, so that's what I went with. Um, I'm you know, pretty, pretty excited to, to check this thing out. I'm going to be uh, doing some additional reporting on it over the next few days. If you look online, you're going to see a lot of websites saying, you know, who's going to buy, who's this for, who's this device, you know, why would anybody buy this? And for me, it's just a question of, well, I spend probably 90% plus of my time on the computer, uh, on the web. You know, I write a blog, I consume media, uh, Reddit, banking, um shopping, whatever it is, it's almost all done through the web and it's almost all done through Chrome. And that was true before I got my first Chromebook a year and a half ago and it's certainly even more true today. So when I saw that this came out, it just made sense to me to pick one up. I sold some of the uh, cheaper devices that I had and, and uh, went ahead and, and ordered one of these. Um, and uh, so let's go ahead and, and uh, get her open here and, and see what we've got. And uh, again, the, over the next few days, my plan is to, to do a write-up and some more videos showing exactly what you get uh, if you order one of these. So again, the price is $9.99.99. They did ship it for free, so thanks very much for that, which is great. Seems like, seems like a lot of money, and it, and it is a lot of money. Um, for sure, but if if you're not if you're living most of what you do in the web, this this promises to give you the best web browsing experience you can get for this amount of money and and really for almost any amount of money. Um, so this is just a beautiful. It's a beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful device. Wow. So here's the box. You get your let's get started and all your stuff inside. And that's it. Here's your power brick. It's chrome on it, retractable plug. That's nice. And here's the cord. One quick start guide. Power on, find network, log in, launch apps. And it really actually is that easy. That's one of the main reasons why people buy a Chromebook in the first place. Um, yeah. It's, it's, I wouldn't say that it's heavy. I think it's 3.3 pounds. It's not so much heavy as it feels substantial, I guess, is how I would describe it. Um, sort of thick and, it's like a thick and dense um, you know, device compared to a lot of the lighter Chromebooks. I'm used to honestly using a C720 for a lot of a lot of my web consumption, and it's obviously heavier than that. But there's the light bar. They added a knock to see your battery status. We can go ahead and open her up. Wow. I wasn't actually expecting it to have power, but there we go. Out of the box, we've got power already. The, um, the display is beautiful. You definitely notice the aspect ratio. It looks, it, it does look, uh, it looks different um, than a normal screen. It's a four by three 
aspect ratio on this screen, which supposedly they feel is better for uh, better for web browsing. So keyboard is really nice. It's backlit. Touch screen. It's almost fully charged, which I didn't I did not expect that. It's got nearly a full charge according to the battery indicator. So that's pretty cool. Excited to see that. It's doing a system update, so um, while it's doing that, I can just show you quickly. Here's the ports. You've got USB-C and two traditional USBs, as well as a headphone microphone jack on that side. This side, you've got your SD card slot and another USB 3. And again, it uses the USB 3 for power, so um, you can actually put the power plug in on either side, which is it just seems like a once you hear that they did that it just seems like oh yeah of course of course you can do that you know why wouldn't you want to do that I'm still I still do not understand why on earth Apple only put one USB-C plug in that that new MacBook I don't understand why you would do that um, you could certainly drive forward the, the idea of oh we're going to use this USB-C adapter without forcing your users to only have one uh, access to one port like that. I just don't understand that. So this has plenty of accessibility options. Again, the two regular USB 3s, the U two USB Cs, SD card slot. So lots of accessibility options here. You shouldn't need to actually uh, bring a whole bunch of adapters or hubs with you everywhere you go or be reduced to using um, Bluetooth, you know, devices that that uh, that aren't as as good as the USB ones are. So, very excited to take a look at this. Um, so far, the Octane scores, from what I'm hearing, are in the twenty three thousand range, which is um, you get about eleven thousand from a Haswell device and you get about uh, 13.5 I've seen from Broadwell from the 3205U that's for the Celerons. The Core i3 Haswell comes in around 14.5 to 15.5 so this is exceptionally fast. So touchscreen, um, high res display, 12, it's rated for 12 hours of battery life I can tell you the feel and and finish on it is is just fantastic. It which is what you'd expect for a device that this that's this expensive. But yeah, typing on it is 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 it's a it's feels really nice. And um wow. I'm I'm really going to enjoy playing around with this one I can tell. I'm gonna also gonna have to baby it a little bit unlike some of my other devices. That's the one thing I'll probably miss is my C seven twenty's got a decent amount of battle damage. Whereas I feel like this this one I'm um, going to be babying a little bit more. So I kinda wanna wow. I kinda wanna run an octane test, but I also want it to finish um, setting up all of my um, extensions. I don't want that to throw the score off. At the same time, it looks like it is absolutely flying through the add-in of all of my extensions here. Yeah, they're just all just flying in. Again, not that it normally takes forever to set up a Chromebook, but wow, this is this is really quick. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it's got all my extensions already set up. It's already done. So I've got Streamus, um, U-Block, Panel Tabs, One Tab, Push Bullet, eBay, Pop Out Panel for Google Play, Pocket, Send to Amazon, Amazon One Button, um, the Google Cast API, Motorola Connect, 
and the Gmail checker. These are all, all already loaded in. So with that being said, I see little reason why we can't do an octane test while we're here together. What do you think, guys? Let's check it out. All right, let's start it. The, uh, so I'm sitting basically exactly perpendicular to it, and the screen, I, it is phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. It is just beautiful. Wow. So <clears throat> for your $9.99.99, um, you're getting a Core i5, a 2.2 gigahertz with 8 gigabytes of RAM. This is the fifth generation Broadwell processor. 32 gigabytes of storage. Again, two USB C's, two USB 3.0s, a full SD card slot, and a headphone microphone combo input. Um, touch screen. Extremely high resolution display. There's my Octane score, 24,371. So this is, this is really fast. Touch screen feels great. Uh, opening up tabs. CNN.com. I mean, look at this. It's like instant. This is, this is gorgeous. So I'll be playing around with this. I'm going to install Crouton on it. Um, we'll see how well that works. We'll be trying, you know, trying out uh, just some some different uh, tests to see how long the battery lasts, <coughs> how it does with a high load of uh, Chrome tabs open, and all the usual stuff that we throw at these things. So I'll be back soon with a written and uh, as well as a video review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about the device that I can try to answer for you. Again, there is a an even faster version, an LS ludicrous speed. Core i7 for $12.99. That gets you 64 gigabytes of local storage on an SSD, as well as the Core i7 and doubles the RAM to 16 gigs. So, but this is the regular $999.99. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabyte solid state drive, and a Core i5, fifth generation Broadwell. So again, this has been the uh, the Google Chromebook Pixel, the new redesign. You can see the, the color, wow, the color bar, there's the, bit. look at that, there's the battery indicator, how cool is that? Knock on the device, battery check, that's awesome. Redesigned hinge, um, it's, it's got a great cool feel to it, just looks, looks futuristic, so. That's it for me, guys. I'll be back soon. Appreciate it. Again, any questions, feedback, please leave it in the comments. Shoot me an email at Voltron00x at gmail, or you can go hop over to my website, Voltron00x.com. I'll have more to come up on there in the near future. Have a great one, guys. Be safe.